Hello everybody, what is good? I am Miguel Rez and I am tuning in again with y'all on my channel for another dope video. Once again, welcome. So in today's video, I have some Funkos that I want to share with y'all. I'm actually very excited because I finally was able to complete this set of three that I have been wanting for a very long time, guys. So uh, for those of you who are wondering what it's going to be, my t-shirt usually gives it away or what I'm wearing in the video. So if you guys are wondering what I'm wearing, I am rocking some Yu-Gi-Oh merch right here. Uh, by the way, big shout outs to Hypeland the brand for doing a dope collab with one of my favorite animes growing up known as Yu-Gi-Oh. So Yu-Gi-Oh is a card game, guys. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, it was a card game that was like, uh, came out like in the 90s, you know, like mid to late 90s. And, you know, uh, that was pretty much what I was into when I was younger and, uh, you know, following up until like maybe high school is when I stopped watching and playing Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff like that. But anyways, this stuff right here that I'm going to show you guys is really nostalgic for me and I'm sure it is for you if you are new and you're watching it or if you're into Yu-Gi-Oh like myself and trying to relive some of that nostalgia from your childhood, I'm th I think you will enjoy this video. But before I go any further into these Funkos, please consider hitting that like button as well, subscribing to the channel, and ring the bell notification to stay updated. That way you don't miss anything that I post on my channel. I post everything from you know my collectibles, to my hats, to my apparel, jersey, sneakers, my life, whatever I put on here, guys, you guys will be notified if you hit the bell notification. All right, so now that I got that information out of the way, let's jump into the Funko. So as you can see, the first one I'm gonna share with y'all is my favorite out of the three. This is Obelisk the Tormentor. We also have Slifer the Sky Dragon. And last but not least, we have Wing Dragon Ara. So hopefully I could hold all three of these in one shot right here bam bam and bam these are some uh six inch funkos they are the the deluxe size funkos they're not your average you know funko size but i was actually very excited to add these three in my collection and i am also going to unbox these for you guys in this video so just real quick the slifer the sky dragon was the most that i dropped out of these three these funkos uh especially the slifer and the obelisk are going for pretty high money now guys the resale is getting pretty up there i think the raw the wing dragon of raw is the most recent release so that one is still obtainable for a fairly reasonable price but the slifer and the obelisk i would say you know you might have to cough up some extra cash if you're gonna try and get these for your collection what's up everyone so these are the egyptian gods from the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise made by funko so i wanted to get one last look at all three of these still in their box because they are brand new never removed i've never seen these yet outside of their box so you know it's pretty nice that i finally have all three of these in my possession now so uh these are dope these are the six inch deluxe versions guys they're not your standard funko size so they definitely have a little more size than your typical funko would but you know these were really hard to find especially the slifer you know i think the wing dragon of raw is the most recent one so it's it's very common to get that one right now but the slifer and the obelisk are getting harder to find but let's break them down individually and i'll kind of go over them so here's the obelisk as you can see the box has some artwork on the side and on the back there is also other funkos from this line as you can see we have joey wheeler with the red eyes black dragon the you have exodia the forbidden one pegasus and yugi moto uh, i have the exodia which i'll do a video on in the near future but uh right now i want to focus on these gods these egyptian gods here so look at that gamestop sticker right there that is the exclusive sticker that they put on these so taking it out of its box you know, you do have this nice little uh, backdrop, which I'm pulling out right now for you guys. As you can see, there is like this uh, backdrop with uh, Egyptian hieroglyphic writing and stuff like that to add the lore of like ancient Egypt. That's pretty cool. And then you have obelisk here in the packaging. Now I'm removing it and uh, holding it firsthand it was very light i was very surprised because i thought that this funko was going to be very heavy but believe it or not the heaviest part of this funko i would say would probably be obelisk's head um surprising because it looks really heavy but it's not looking at the wings and the finish it's a nice sculpt you got that sky blue color and then looking underneath his foot you can see right there it does have uh like this little stamp showing where the you know funko was made and the year and things of that nature. Something to look for, I think, if you're looking for Funkos outside of their box. You know, 
I know uh, there's a lot of fakes now with Funkos, so be very careful, guys. There is some head movement there. As you can see, I'm moving his head left and right. Funkos, and typically, they don't have many opposable joints. It's usually just the head that you can move. But I like that little blue dot and the little horns on his head. All right, now we have Wing Dragon or Raw. This one is uh, another GameStop exclusive, but as you can see, they changed the sticker and it does now come with the 25th anniversary Yu-Gi-Oh sticker as well. So there's some artwork of Wing Dragon or Raw on the side. You also have artwork of him on the back along with some other characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh world. You have Yami Bakura. You also have a Toon Blue Eyes, White Dragon, and a My Valentine. So I don't have any of the other three. I was mainly interested in the Wing Dragon or Raw on this drop right here but this is uh, really excited to have this one. The box is really heavy too. So um, this does actually come with another insert. However, now it's like a grayish uh, hieroglyphics as you can see right there, the finish with that. And then holding raw, he does not have any head movement like Obelisk did. So um, that's something to note. I didn't want to like force it because I didn't want to break anything, but it doesn't look like it really has any head movement or any movement whatsoever. But I love the finish on this Wing Dragon or Raw. We have this inside joke with me and my friends where we we call we called Wing Dragon or Raw growing up um, the Golden Chicken Nugget. <laughs> so uh, as you can see, for obvious reasons, he has that really nice like gold finish. You know, it looks like something that of like ancient Egypt for sure. And uh, you know, I like the teeth finish and then the red eyes that he has. He has this like little jewel on his head as well, which is really nice. I thought that was a nice finish. Always cool with the Wing Dragon or Raw, but yeah, this has definitely got some weight to it, guys. I think he's the heaviest so far out of these uh, Egyptian gods, but we're about to find out what Slifer next, and I'll give you guys my analysis on that. All right, and lastly, we have Slifer the Sky Dragon. So this one was a Target exclusive. This one was the hardest out of the three for me to obtain, guys. I'm not going to lie. I paid resale for this, but I still got it for a great price, you know, unlike what you're seeing now on like third party markets it's going for a lot of money but as you could see the box does have a little bit of dings that's which is probably why i got it for cheap but you know i didn't really care because i was actually planning on displaying it outside of its box anyway as you can see right there in the back it's also similar artwork to the obelisk the tormentor and overall you know same artwork like the other egyptian gods on the side and there's the underneath of the box now taking slifer out as you can see there's a little piece of plastic right there that was on top of his head and um you know this has definitely got some weight to it as well so holding it, it it does have some weight you know looking at the overall paint details it looks nice i love the whole black and red color coordination with slifer the sky dragon look at just the overall details of you know him with like the scales and looking at the multiple mounts that slifer has and the wings on the back one thing that i will point out about the wings on this is that it's it's really uh it's kind of brittle as you can see right there it's hard plastic but uh, i think you'll be fine as long as you don't mishandle it crazy but i noticed that because of his feet it doesn't stand straight so as you see there i was kind of moving it with my index finger but you know overall it still holds pretty well you know i think the overall finish that they use on slifer was good you know as you can see there is the teeth in his mouth with the blue tongue that he has or kind of like a bluish I don't know it's like a off-white color for that off-white blue but there's a feet that's what I'm talking about where you know he only has his feet on one side of the Funko and not on the other so there's kind of like a little tilt that he has but it's not the end of the world still stands pretty strong nice little finish there you got the eyes you know got like those yellow eyes and then you have like this jewel on his forehead which is very similar to the one on obelisk's head and here we have all three of them just standing in their powerful form summoned ready to go into uh, dual mode <laughs> for whoever summons them so overall my final thoughts on these three i love these man i'm such a fan of these egyptian gods i was always a fan of them growing up as a kid and they were just so op man and to have them now in a funko form especially in a six inch form is really dope you know i wonder if the funko will ever make these in like an even bigger form if they do i may have to upgrade but for now guys these three are definitely on my list i highly recommend trying to get these now while you still can i mean as i mentioned the slifer is really expensive i think the most out of the three and the obelisk is going up there in price but you know you could still get them for fairly reasonable prices guys 
and you know if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan like myself especially like the OG Yu-Gi-Oh stuff then these are a must-have so your boy Rez definitely approves of these three anyways guys that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for me in this video I want to thank everybody that sat through and watched this video from beginning up until this point please consider hitting that like button again like I said as well subscribing to the channel and hit the bell notification and let me know what you guys think about these three Egyptian God Funkos were you guys feeling these from Funko or did you not like them and if you did which out of the three were your favorite you know for me obelisk of tormentor was always my favorite egyptian god out of the three but they're all so dope in their own ways man they were just so op the cars were so dope back then and uh you know it's i'm living my childhood right now with these little three things right here all right guys well i think i rambled on long enough so i'm gonna head on out of here but before i go believe in the heart of the cards people <laughs> all right your boy rez is out Peace.